Hello, I'm here to introduce you to the Cell Sensor uh, Electromagnetic Field Meter. Uh, it is also a radio frequency radiation detector. And uh, as you can see here, this is a box from a cell sensor. Uh, this unit here is brand new. And um, this is what you'll be receiving when you order this uh, device from me. Uh, this device is designed to detect and measure cell phone RF or radio frequency radiation, which is commonly referred to as microwave radiation, depending on what frequency it's in. Uh, and also allows you to detect electromagnetic fields generated by power lines, computer monitors, TVs, appliances, home wiring, and other unsuspected sources. And I say uns it says unsuspected because uh, there's times that you will find electromagnetic fields generated from underground wiring uh, or grounding problems within a home uh, or office environment. And without having the benefit of a device like this, you would have virtually no way of knowing uh, that these fields are there uh, unless they make you or someone you care about sick. So um, this is a really handy device to have. And it's also a very easy to use device. So um, what I'm gonna do is just introduce you briefly to the cell sensor. And um, when you get it and you can open up the top flap on the one you receive, um, you can look inside the clear, the clear film here and you'll see that it comes with the meter itself. Uh, it, it also comes with this a little electromagnetic field coil, which is used to basically um, pick up on a magnetic field. Uh, and there's a wire for that. You'll see how that plugs in in just a second. And when you open up the box, you'll find that it also comes with um, this manual here. Uh, it's about 22 pages, and it goes into great detail about electromagnetic fields and uh, radiation from uh, various, various sources. Uh, it's a really nice resource. And um, I have also created for you a 20-minute uh, training CD. Uh, you're going to get a copy of the training CD. The training CD I'm going to include for free. Uh, you're also going to get free shipping. So uh, free shipping, free training, and uh, you're going to get a brand new cell sensor sealed in the box. So let's take a look at what it does and how it works, and um, then you'll have a better idea of how you'll use this in your own world. Okay? So right here is a cell sensor, and this is exactly what it's going to look like when you get yours. Uh, it takes a 9-volt battery. The nine, uh, batteries are not included, but it's just a standard 9-volt battery, easy to get anywhere, uh, very inexpensive. And uh, when you look at the device, what you're going to see first off is that there's a, there's a gauge here or an instrument, uh, a meter, that's going to give you a, a readout as to the field strength or intensity. And um, underneath that, there's just a one switch. It's the power switch, and it's a little hard to read, but it just says on and off. When you push your thumb on it or your finger on it, it turns it on. Push it again, it turns it off. On the right side of the meter, there's a volume control knob, so you can turn down, or, sorry, you can turn up and down the beeping sound, and you're going to hear what that sounds like in a second. And there's also a little switch here, and this is the sensitivity setting. And there's two settings. There's N for normal and H for high. Uh, this is gone into in your training CDs. I like to leave it on high. I think it provides a little bit uh, more sensitivity and more useful information. And um, on the other side, there's a little tiny jack here. And what the jack is for uh, is to plug in the cable or the jack extension from the a magnetic coil probe, which we're going to use today to measure electromagnetic fields. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to plug it into the side of the cell sensor. Just pops right in, uh, just as you see there. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn on the device. And when you turn it on, it does give you a few uh, warning beeps, um, just to let you know that it's working. You can hear that you can see the light flash on the top, and you can also see it beep. And then it orients down to zero. Now. If it doesn't orient down to zero, it means that you're actually in the presence of a strong electromagnetic field, or at least a, a weak magnetic field, uh, and that's useful to pay attention to. So uh, if in your own environment, your home, your bedroom, or your office, wherever you are, you turn it on, uh, and it doesn't look like that, where the needle's all the way down to the left, it means there is a magnetic field present. So a um, couple of little notes about the cell sensor is that if you move it around kind of abruptly, uh, even if there's no magnetic field, if you move it around a lot, uh, you'll actually see it start to make a reading. And that's just because it's very sensitive to that motion. So um, just be aware of that. Uh, you've got to keep it relatively motionless. Um, the coil here that I have in my hand is designed to be oriented in three different ways. Uh, that training CD goes into that, but right now I'll just tell you that you have different axes um, to that where you, the field can be oriented. And uh, generally, for the purposes of the cell sensor, for most fields you encounter, you're going to just hold it out like flat, just like that in front of you. So um, we're in my kitchen right now, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the cell sensor detects electromagnetic fields by using my toaster oven. So uh, right in front of me here is a toaster oven, and uh, it's an electric toaster oven. It will emit an electromagnetic field. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just reach over. I'm going to turn on the toaster oven, and you'll probably hear the meter. Oh, you can actually see the meter is... Uh, peaked out all the way to the very top of the meter 
And uh, you can obviously see that it's giving us an alarm to indicate that there's some magnetic fields present. And you can see we're, we're pretty close to the toaster oven. This is the probe in my hand, and there's the toaster oven. Now, I'm going to keep the meter focused on, I'm going to keep the video focused on the meter. And what I'm going to do with my left hand is I'm going to move the coil away from the toaster oven. And I want you to watch what happens to the readings on the meter. Okay? So as I get further and further and further away from the toaster oven, even though the toaster oven is still on, you can see the coil there, um, you can see that the field levels get less and less. And this is precisely how you use a Gauss meter or an electromagnetic field meter or a magnetometer. Uh, and as you can see, as I bring the probe, which is in my left hand, as I move it toward the toaster, watch again, you're going to see the levels get higher and higher and higher and higher. So. A couple of quick lessons for that. One of them is that obviously magnetic fields decrease as you move from a further distance away. So if you have sources of magnetic fields within your home uh, that are not from gigantic power lines or you know underground uh, wires or something like that or grounding problems or wiring problems, what you can learn is that the further you move away from them, the less those fields really are. So we only have a couple more minutes, so I wanted to stress a couple of things. Uh, this device is really good for measuring electromagnetic fields. And as a matter of fact, the toaster oven uh, on high sensitivity right now. Uh, let me get back here a little bit. At the distance away, my left hand is about two and a half feet away from the toaster, right? The field levels are pretty much dropped to zero. Remember, on high sensitivity. As I come toward it, that's one, ga uh, one milligauss. As I come a little closer, that would be two milligauss. I'm reading the bottom scale, which is hard to read, but it's numbered um, zero through five. Here, it's at three milligauss, and it starts to beep. Then it's at four milligauss, then five milligauss. Okay, so um, that's important because, you know, you, the threshold of, some scientists think that the threshold of safety is really under, um, under one milligauss. And it's important to notice that the beeping of the meter didn't really start until about three milligauss, but that doesn't mean that there's no fields detected. So as part of your training CD, you're going to be reminded that you really want to pay attention to what the meter itself says. Um, one other caveat is that while this device is excellent for measuring magnetic fields, and it will reveal the radiation from, cell, from some cell phones. Uh, the truth is, is that with some cell phones, it's not really that accurate. And the reason for that is that cell phones use different frequencies and modulation schemes. And some of them it detects really well, others it doesn't detect well at all. This, this device is also not useful for detecting the radiation coming from cell phone towers, uh, unless you're really, really close to them. So while this is an excellent meter and it really does a great job at measuring electromagnetic fields, um, I don't think it's really the best tool for measuring microwave radiation or radiation from cordless phones, uh, wireless internet or Wi-Fi, uh, or cell phone towers or radio transmitters of any kind. It's a really great tool for measuring electromagnetic fields. To that end, we're going to run into the other room for just a second. I'm going to take you to my garage, and I want to just show you sort of what, what happens when we use this device uh, in the presence of an electrical service panel. And uh, I'm sure you have one of these in your own home somewhere. Uh, hopefully not too close to your living spaces. This is an electrical service box. Uh, inside you'll see that these are our circuit breakers. And uh, just the same thing with the toaster when I turn the device, when I turn the, the uh, cell sensor on and I am near, the, it, it beeps to let it know it's working. And I'm close enough to the panel right now where I'm picking up some electromagnetic field, about a half a milligauss. And as I get closer and closer to the panel, you'll see the field levels increase. Uh, and that's very, very important to be aware of because you certainly don't want that near your children's bedroom or your, or your, your crib or anything like that. Um, so this is a really useful device. It has tons of benefits in terms of keeping your family safe and aware of electromagnetic fields, both in the home and the office. And uh, when you order it from me, I'm going to send you the training CD. I'm going to send you a brand new cell sensor still sealed in the box. I'm going to do it with all with free shipping. And I'm going to give you one special, really important thing that it took me years to accumulate, and I want you to have it. And what that is, um, is a document. And we're going over to my computer right now. Sorry, don't get my password here. What I want to do is I want to send you this document that has literally hundreds and hundreds of links to some of the most important, oh, excuse me, it's just going to take me one second to find it for you. Um, here we go. Uh, this document is an email that I'd like to send you, and on it, you're going to see, it's called the Citizens Briefing on Health Impacts of Wireless Technology and Electromagnetic Fields. Um, this is truly hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hyperlinks leading to the best information that I've found online that tells some very important things about the health impacts of electromagnetic fields and radio frequency radiation 
It's yours free. I'll send it to you as soon as I get your order. So order now. Thanks so much.